Hello, Jessica Dearbrooks here, back with another minifigure pack opening, and this is the first pack opening I've had since August, actually, and the first one I've had for the LEGO Movie minifigure series. Now, I usually get all 16, or I try to get all 16 and then open them, but this time, the only place I had them was this one Toys R Us that was way far away. I wish I would have checked it earlier because they only had 14 out of the 16 minifigures. Now, I felt them all, and I'm really good at feeling them, and I've calculated that the only one I'm missing is Abe Lincoln and it was Abe Lincoln and oh, who was it? It was Abe Lincoln and let me see. Uh, oh, and Taco Tuesday guy. So I have all the other minifigures, at least I felt them up and I'm going to open them here to see if my feeling skills still work. And so now let's go straight ahead to this and you can see it's a little bit of an overhead view. I actually set up my camera like this. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a little bit of a change up. So let's see this and of course the box actually looks really, really nice. Love the detail on it. And you guys will get a full review once I get all 16. Maybe I'll do another pack opening if I did get all 14 for the other two minifigures, but we'll see about that. So, first minifigure is... Oh, look at that. Where's my pants guy? This guy's pretty cool. Because he only has... Uh, he actually has two pants. And that's his accessory. He has an extra set of pants. Love his little Hawaiian shirt right there. Uh, because I could use it for my custom Weird Al minifigure. Probably not going to assemble all of them, but you can see right there, I'm already one for one, which is great. Okay, so I'll just put the extra pair of pants right here. So there you go. Next up, next pack. Uh... Oh, look at that. It's one of my favorites, or probably my favorite of the series, which is Hard Hat Emmett. Now, my best bud, Be Kind Story Wine, he loves this minifigure. And I understand why. He is just adorable, this little minifigure right here, Emmett. Or at least this version of Emmett. And the other versions of Emmett is really cute, too. So, I love this version, especially because of his little hard hat. It looks really kind of shiny, and then he has the hair on the back. And he does have a really kind of double-sided face, which looks really nice. I'll do a zoom up at the end, I guess, a really quick one on all the minifigures together, so sorry if it doesn't really like zoom up right now, it's a little bit too zoomed out. Next pack right here. Oh, and look, the second construction worker for the series, which is Gale. Uh, this one's really cool because much like Emmett, she has hair on the back of her little construction Hat. So that's really cool. I do like that part. Her little accessory is a jackhammer. Next pack. So far, three for three. Oh, this one's my second favorite, along with, or probably my favorite, along with Emmett. I'm not really sure. And this one is Larry the Barista. And he is really cool. Love his little hairpiece right here. His hairpiece is actually very, very usable. We'll get a close-up on him later. And his face is actually pretty cool too. He has some nice pants and nice torso. And then he even has a little new coffee, coffee cup element. So he has two new molds just for him. And they're very usable. His hair is a very usable new mold. And his coffee cup. Uh, when I first saw this series, I was actually a little bit underwhelmed. Or I was actually really underwhelmed. I was about to make a rant video. Uh, but I never got around to it, and I'm kind of glad I did because um, I've grown to um, kind of like this series a little bit more. It's still not one of my favorites, but White Fang's review really helped out on me liking it. Just, I'm really excited for the Simpsons series, and hopefully we'll get pictures of that one soon. It's coming out in May. So We only have nine packs left because this is the fifth pack of 14 packs. And again, we're still, uh, now we're five for five. Perfect. This one is Shakespeare. Another really cool minifigure. He has a nice new hair element, which is probably the best part of him. And he comes with this little scrub right here. So, so if it's not really close up right now, but like I said, I'll do one at the end. Next pack. Yes, six for six. And crud, this looks like it's Wolverine orange. So that sucks. I was hoping for this to be yellow. Probably would have been much better if it was yellow. But you can see right here, 
Uh, this is Velma Staplebot. She's cool because she has a uh, new hair element, and that's probably my favorite part about it. A lot of people like her uh, torso, which is pretty nice, but not really what I'm looking for. And she does have this little new printed piece that says Secret Plan Taco Tuesday. Just kind of reminds me that I don't have the Taco Tuesday guy out of all these minifigures, which kind of makes me a little bit ticked off. Okay. Get all this stuff out of the way. Next pack. So far we are six for six. Okay, seven for seven. This one is probably one of my least favorites of the series. Marsha the Queen of Mermaids. I mean, her hair piece is actually, uh, it's very limited on use, but I've heard somebody say it could be used as a Nicki Minaj custom hair piece. So I want to see people use that. And um, I've never really been a fan of kind of like mermaids and stuff like that. I did like the little mermaid. And her little clamshell, I guess she could hold like this. So, so here we go. We are... Seven for seven. So we have seven more to go. I think, right? Yeah. So these were really hard to find where I lived. Uh, everybody who had them said they had them, but you could tell, like, uh, the Toys R Us was like, oh, we have them. They're just in the aisle. And they were never in the aisle, which usually means that they, they have them, but somebody put them away for January 1st. Oh, this one's hard to open. Yes, eight for eight. Calamity drone right here. Uh, her hair piece is kind of interesting because it's actually hard plastic. I was thinking it would be rubber, so that's pretty cool. But the rest of her is, eh, I don't really know. Don't like her because not really into. Uh, well, I mean, I like Western minifigures. Just as sat when we have somebody like Red Harrington, which is probably one of my favorite minifigures of the year. And then you get somebody like this, which is, she's a lot like Red Harrington, but I think Red Harrington is far superior because Red Harrington has some nice legs. She has a really, uh, her hair piece is a lot like this one, like I said, but her little bonnet right here, I think it's called, is really uh, good too. And then she has a little skirt on the bottom, uh, Red Harrington. So I think just Red Harrington's a little bit more, or a lot better than this one. Oh, this is Will Ferrell, present business. Uh, he only comes in one set. Uh, this is a lot like the one in the set, actually. His face on this one is different, but his torso might be the same, or um, I think the one in the set has a little bit of more of a ruffle. Uh, he has the same hair piece and the same legs as the one in the set. He has a little thing that says Octon. So, uh, well, if he was exclusive to this series, he would be really nice because I love his hair piece. It's so stupid. It's like, it's, it's so, it's, it's very specific to him. Like, I, I know I complain about that a lot, but it's just very, very detailed. Like, I, like, this is probably one of the most detailed hair pieces ever because you can see all the little lines. Well, once I show the close up, I'll show it. But he has all these little lines and it's very kind of a blocky hair piece. So he just is ridiculous, but still kind of an interesting mini pair. And I'm probably not going to get Lord Business's lair, it's looking like, unless it goes on clearance, uh, which will be in a while. And, yep, we are 1, 2, 3, 4, so we are, that's 7, 8, 9, so we're 10 for 10, yeah, 10 for 10. That's great, because this one's bad cop, scribbly face. Uh, this one has a freaky face, and that's probably the best part about this minifigure. Once I show the close-up, you'll see, but uh, his face is so spooky, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Um, and... While the, uh, the rest is kind of the same as uh, the set version, which I actually have right here. Uh, this one has a different accessory instead of the, the gun. He has a... Uh, what is this doing here? Shakespeare's little stuff right here. This guy has a very nice phone printed piece, which is actually really cool. I don't know when I'm going to get the rest of the figures. I really wish they would have had all 16 this run, but... Of course, they always have to sell out. And oh gosh, I, I gotta get a drink of water so I'll cut. Okay, sorry about that, I am back. And 
what pack, how much packs do we have left? We have four packs left. And so far we are 10 for 10, which means we got all separate miniatures in 10 packs. And now we are 11 for 11, which is perfect. Because we just got Wild West Wild Style. This figure is actually a little bit disappointing. I guess her uh, her face is a little bit different from the sets it looks like, which I have the set version right here. And yeah, her face is different on this one, but it's just kind of barely different. And she has the same hair piece in this one as the sets. And her torso is different, but I know, I'm like I said, I don't really like getting so much Western minifigures, I guess, because I don't have much of a Western setup at the moment because all the only Western sets I have assembled are the Lone Ranger sets, which are really good, but I'm missing the two big ones, so I can't really make a Western town, so I guess for me it's a little bit disappointing because I don't really have a Western place to put her, and she looks a lot like the one in the sets. And look at that, we are 12 for 12, because now we are on the Panda Dude, which is great. This guy is actually pretty cool, it looks like. I, I really like his mask, uh, because his mask looks a lot, it has a charm that uh, Emmett's kind of, I guess you could say, hat piece has because it looks really shiny and I like that because it looks like a toy. And for some reason that's just something that I say, oh yeah, that looks really cool. Well, like I said, two left. Let's see if I am going to be 14 for 14, which I probably am because it looks like I'm not holding up so far. And yep, so far, 13 for 13. All 15 are unique. Because I just got the cat girl, or cat lady. This is probably the worst minifigure of this whole kind of uh, series right here. Maybe one of the worst of all series. For some reason, I don't know, I don't really like this one because her hair piece is minimal. It's like barely, it's different because it's a, a grape printing. It's a, I mean, it's a great coloring of a hair piece we already have. And the hair piece itself in gray is kind of not really usable. I mean, I don't really see a lot of, uh, I guess you could say older ladies have kind of this long hair like this. So it in gray kind of makes it uh, like barely usable. And uh, while her torso and legs are kind of nice, they have a lot of cat hair on it, which uh, I can't really find a use for for myself. And we just got a cat lady, which was far superior, which was a grandma in series 11. So that one's still out. It's like getting two... I guess you could say cat ladies, older ladies with cats in a row. So that's a little bit disappointing for me. And last one, let's see if we're right. And yes, okay, good. So I am only missing Abe Lincoln and whatever that dude is. Abe Lincoln and Taco Tuesday. Which sucks because when I found the minifigures in Target, like last week, I found them at Target and they wouldn't sell it to me. Uh, there wasn't, I think there was, uh, for sure there was a Taco Tuesday and there might have been an Abe Lincoln, I don't remember. But well, that means I'm going to have to go out, even after this, and go find the two other ones. At least before December 29th, because December 29th I'm going to be super busy. And the 30th too, and then the 1st, and the 31st, and then the 1st I'll be really busy. So, yeah. And the 29th, of course, is my birthday. So here is this dude right here. Which is Wiley Fusebot. Don't really like this guy either, but I could see why people like him because he looks, he's kind of, I think, a Davy Crockett type person, if that's the right term. He has a coonskin hat, and it looks like a beard, I'm not even sure, and a little stick of dynamite. So there you go, that is all 14 that I got, which are all 14 unique characters. I apologize for not getting all 16, and we'll do a quick close-up right now. So here are all the minifigures I got. You can see they're all just kind of in this clump right here, uh, and you can see, first off, we got Wild West Wild Style, who I guess a lot of people like because you could use her in a western setting. I don't really have a western setting, so I can't really find a use for her. And her facial printing is a little bit different from the Wild Style in the sets. You got the panda suit guy. I like his uh, mask right there because it's kind of like a plasticky color. And it's a very hard plastic mask. And so that's really cool. And he does come with this little panda, I guess you could say doll or whatever. And nice printing right there. And he does have a very interesting face print where he's kind of sticking out his tongue and he's sweating. No back printing on his face, unfortunately, but still pretty nice face print. And you got Emmett right here, who is the main star of the film, probably my favorite minifigure of this series. And he's just an excellent minifigure. I love his hat mold. 
and you can see it continues with his hair to the back. So that's really cool. And you got Gail the construction worker, which is a very nice minifigure too. She has a nice hat mold that has hair on the back, much like Emmett's. And I love just the coloring on the um, little hat, hard hat right there, because it's kind of a very plasticky red coloring, which looks really nice. And she does have some nice printing all over her too. Then you got Wiley Fusebot, who his accessory is just a dynamite in an old Lego gun piece. And he has a very nice kind of coonskin hat continues to the back which I believe it's based off of Davy Crockett and he has this neck piece right here which I don't know if that's a beard or not so it could be a neck build. Next up we got Bad Cop which is this one's the scribbly version and you can see how freaky his face is. Very kind of interesting minifigure and he does come with a very nice phone accessory. Then you got Miss Scratch and Post, which I do not like, really like. This is one of my least favorite minifigures of the series. Not much interesting, and plus I'm not even a cat guy, so I could see a lot of cat people, like cat lovers, loving this minifigure because of her cat, but I am not a cat lover at all. And then we got Where's My Pants Guy. Uh, I mean, he's an okay minifigure, but his Hawaiian torso is just excellent. Definitely going to use that for my little Weird Al on my Weird Al stage. I just wish you would have short sleeve printing much like Homer did, but still, interesting minifigure. Uh, we got President Business right here. Uh, his face is angrier than the one in the Lord Business' is Evil Lair, and he has a little coffee, co co coffee mug that says Octin on it. A nice hair mold, but it's not exclusive to him in this set, because he also comes in the Lord Business' Lair with the same hair mold. Then we got Shakespeare, and Shakespeare is another cool one because he has this nice hair mold right here, much like the grandpa from series 10, and yeah. Then we got Velma Staplebot, like her little beehive hair, but uh, her torso is pretty nice. It's not Wolverine, or it is Wolverine orange, and it's not yellow, so sorry if a lot of people are disappointed by that. Then we got Marsha the Queen of Mermaids, uh, not really impressed by this one. I think the one from series 9 is much better. And yeah, that's really it for her. Then we got Calamity Drone, and she has a nice hair mold, I have to say. And then Larry the Barista, which has a nice hair mold and a nice coffee cup mold. Um, and his face is actually really cool too, and, I, and his torso and his legs. So the whole minifigure is really cool for me. Only downside, he has Larry printed on his torso, so it kind of limits the use. Uh, which is cool cause it, it, for some people, because it might be a little bit more character specific but it's bad for others because it's just, it, they can't use it for a lot of other people. Um, or they could, but if you look really closely, it'll say Larry, which looks a little bit weird. But you could say it's Larry's Coffee Shop. And so yeah, that's it for him. And I do say, I will be doing a review once I get the two other minifigures. I don't know if I'm gonna be opening those on camera, but if I do, you guys will see the pack opening video at least before the review. And that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later, bye.